Hello everyone, this is Julie from August Birdsong on Instagram. And today I am uh, showing you a work in progress, although you will probably recognize um, some of the pieces that I've shown in uh, previous videos. This particular top piece right here on the cover of this, um, I'm going to call it a decorated book, more than a journal. Uh, but this is um, from my first video. It's one of the nature collages I talked about um, with the layering and, and all the techniques. And I have mounted it on a binder that was in my first video. It's the Better Homes and uh, Garden Cookbook. But you would never know it at this point because I've covered it with fabric if you look here you can see first I put a layer of flannel in just just to give it a little more padding and softness and then and with fringe and then I put the green fabric on but before I put that on I stitched on um, just some strips of um, muslin with fringe and so I stitched them on and then when I had that done, I stitched uh, the whole collage here on before I glued the whole cover itself to the book. And so here you have uh, the opening page. Now this is a work in progress, like I said, so I will be putting probably some pockets in here, some different things. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the next step for it. And I'm really glad that I finally did this because I have started the pages, had started the pages for this more like in um, January or February. And I just knew I wanted it to sort of have a medieval um, feel to it or early Tudor age. Uh, and even though there's a lot of nature, you know, the birds and things in it, uh, a lot of my background papers are going to kind of rep represent or reflect kind of, you know, um, years from long ago. And so here right now, I don't know that this will always be the opening page, but here is... Um, uh, this is actually from Roxy Creations in one of her ephemera sets, and uh, I think it, it's Italy, or Rome maybe, even, uh, Rome, Italy. Uh, but So I use that just, and it's, it's not on cardstock, it's just on regular matte paper, but I built it into the collage, and then, of course, uh, you know, started to add the bird, and I also added, here I've got a die cut, um, this is from, this is a die cut from Scrap Man, um, Scrap Man Dies. And I mentioned in my first or second video, you can find those at the Frantic Stamper. Let me just check. I just want to see that you're going to be able to see the double spread here. Okay, sorry. Just want to be sure. Um, but so anyways, this is a die cut, uh, from Scrap Man Dies. And in the background on several of these pages, you'll see like this here is from Medieval Mirage um, <clears throat> on Etsy. And uh, like her, her name with it, Medieval Mirage is, is a lot of beautiful medieval um, background pieces and focal points, a little bit of everything. So I have, I have used a ton of that in this. Here you have another nature collage. Um, that I did. And again, all of this is still a work in progress. Notice I haven't added any trim on the edges, ribbon or muslin or, you know, pom-poms or anything like that yet. I'm just getting the basic pages in. And the pages, again, are made from the cookbook pages. And I'm grabbing, oh, I know where they are. They are made from pages like this and this was actually from an older book of mine uh, that I made a different journal in but I was able to still reuse them and uh, with this one I did end up cutting off the little tabs I was thinking about 
keeping those but in, in the long run I just decided um, I liked the look better with those off but um, basically these are made from the same kind of thing this is about the consistency of cardstock you could do these same pages just using just using uh, cardstock especially just something firm enough to be able to to you know be sturdy um, Again, on this one, you can see Medieval Mirage in the background in the collage. Uh, again, some Scrap Man dies and um, my focal point. And this is a stamp I have of a bee from Red Lead Paperworks. And Red Lead Paperworks has a ton of wonderful nature stamps and collage sheets and uh, bird collage sheets. This one isn't from it, but... A lot of my first collages, <clears throat> excuse me, were made using birds I cut out from their collage sheets at Red Lead Paperworks. And then this little bit, if you can see it here in the back, this is um, just a little bit of an embossed uh, piece. I think this was like a Sizzix. It's like a, a reindeer and Christmas tree, almost like a sweater, a cable sweater. And this is just a piece that I had taken and I sprayed kind of some glittery uh, gold, um, uh, you know, distress spray on it to get that effect. And so then I just tore it and used it that way. On this side, you have, again, you have... Um, this is actually paper here from Victoria Designs, and um, this is sort of a, it, it goes real nicely with kind of the medieval theme as well. And uh, here I have, again, just a, this was like a recycled magazine page that I just folded into about fourths, did my collage on, and stitched on it, and then here you know at the time I didn't know where exactly I was going to use it it just happened to be one and this is an image from uh, Mrs. Cog's crafts uh, her Etsy shop and it's I think in the Vermeer collection the artist Vermeer and um, again this is a little Edith Holden just tucked in from some torn book page and here you can see again I'll put that one back uh, this is Medieval Mirage, this image, and it folds out, and here you have um, just a flip-out page. It could have writing uh, for you to do on it. I just put a quote, and it says, Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. And here you have... Um, uh, another uh, Elizabethan image. Sorry, my <clears throat> throat is kind of froggy. I have asthma, and some days my throat is just harder to to clear than other days. Sometimes it's just like a frog. Uh, anyways, and today's one of those days. Sorry about it. Here is another uh, nature collage, and actually this one's not really a collage. I actually printed this off of the Graphics Fairy website, uh, and then just did the, the little bits of uh, die, uh, die cuts here. These are the gears, and they came from In Love Arts, which is very reasonably priced, extremely reasonably priced, for, for dies and other uh, scrapbook and craft needs. Uh, and here you go, just some things here. Um, this is a uh, little, let me see bring it closer a little butterfly stamp that I made and I'm pretty sure um, this came from a set of like nature stamps from it's like Iliopa online I think it's like I-L-O-P-A online and she has a, a bunch of different digital kits and things uh, it's an Etsy shop and um, I have a bunch of nature stamps that I purchased and then made into the little uh, embellishments. And then here, opening up, well, sorry, I guess I'll keep it this way. This was on Instagram recently. It says, if you want to change the world, pick up your pen and write. 
from Martin Luther. And again, a scrap man. Uh, it's kind of a lantern die. This page isn't done. You can see I have the, the top part of the page. Um, and there's a pocket here I made and some collage, some medieval mirage. And I think this is from, I think Romantica Arts is the name. And this is a little just tag that I stenciled uh, and used a little paint with the stenciling with the gesso and all uh, and on the back is a stamp and this is a, a mushroom stamp from um, Red Lead Paperworks and it says at the edge of the a forest near a mountain trail and uh, again I put some gesso on this the stencil is from stencil girl um, stencilgirl.com uh, wonderful stencils from them a lot of nature uh, themes as well as really everything a little bit of everything uh, but so anyways that is what's there I still want to do something down here but at the moment it's still open but notice if you can see I have torn paper edges so I didn't want just the sheet flat and smooth. I wanted to just create some movement along here. And so I just tore strips and inked them and then uh, built them up just, again, to create some texture and interest for the page. This page, again, this is not all finished, but uh, it's in process. This was just like a bookmark or you know, a flip out tag, whatever you want to call it, that I made. And um, I ended up attaching it with uh, some muslin here. And um, several, Artie Mays and I think Roxy Creations and others have shown videos on adding this. Really, you just take a strip and, you know, I like stuff with a, a, just a delicate fringe. And then you just glue part here, glue part there, and then flip it. And in this case, then, it's, you don't see that on the outside. It's just on the inside of the page that you have that, that little hinge created. And then here, this was on Instagram a while ago. But uh, this page obviously um, needs work done on it. So I'll be working on that next. The back of that page is this, and this was one of my early Instagram posts. It was at that time just, you know, just a little small card at that point. But again, we had Medieval Mirage in the background. Um, this is the girl with the pearl earring um, by Vermeer. And again, that is from Mrs. Cog's Crafts that I have that uh, digital download and um, here is again the back still needs some work on it and here though we have just a tag a mishmash of of everything um, some reindeer and books and flowers the stamp nature from red lead paperworks actually that's a stencil not a stamp and uh, a little off cut from a die cut of um, an ant, and that's that's from uh, Tim Holtz, Sizzix, uh, his like insect dies. So I added that, and then on the back page of this, get that in there, I just have again some of the trellis. Uh, this is a Sizzix die again, another off cut from the insect dies. Um, this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, um, a set of her, um, from her digital kits, and I coffee stained it, and so that sort of toned it down for this journal and, and gave it a little more grunge. There's another one of those stamps um, that I stitched around and mounted and all from um, Iliopa Online. And again, a little middle, uh, medieval mirage in the background. So I tend to use a lot of different people's things at once um, with collage. And so I don't just stick to one um, 
you know one shop necessarily some have have more like this does have a lot of medieval mirage and also victoria design in the background but the collages are just just a mix of everything here there's again um edith holden in the background there medieval mirage uh here is a little just a little flip book you could journal in that and uh an owl on the back and the way I did this, I stitched around it and glued it so you could just tuck it up. So I still need to do some work down in this part of the book, the page. Uh, this page, I'm real happy with how this kind of worked out. I did not make this page all at the same time. Again, everything is, is kind of here and there, what papers are in my scrap box and things like that um but again this is this right here is victoria designs um this here is from i think it's um lois <coughs> heinzel i think it is online i will double check that this background and um Again, Mrs. Cog there, and this is just one of those flaps again that I made, and there's the uh, Vermeer um, picture, and I put the poem, or part of it at least, from Robert Frost called Mending Wall, and that's just an old book page I worked into the back. That's the poem, something there is that doesn't love a wall that sends the frozen ground swell under it and spills the upper boulders in the sun. And it goes on there but I just loved this is a different designer from this and yet the colors the the graphics um, the architecture of the whole page it just came together like it was planned but it definitely wasn't and then here's just a little uh, book page um, book <laughs> and a die cut butterfly on it and again you could write in here i don't tend to write in journals a lot so I, I put quotes but um and then this is on the back and i love this this one and this is i'm pretty positive uh, from a collage sheet by um red lead paperworks and this is again uh from a die cut i want to say are they called like fragments or something like that uh, in the Sizzix line, and they'll have like three separate ones, like this uh, flower, and then maybe brickwork and something else. Something like fragments, they're called. And I just worked that in and inked it, and that was just made on a piece of, of scrap left over. So anyways, I, I love how that page turned out. And then here, again, I have a flip. So you have the back page and then this little flip page here. And I think it might be easier to just hold it up here so you can see. This is a stamp from Red Lead Paperworks. A lot of medieval mirage in the background. This is um, a carabelle stamp. It's a little squirrel. Many times I see nature stamps uh, or anything nature related, I am tempted to buy it. And so here, this just sort of evolved into a um, seashell. And again, just because they were things I had on hand, uh, the seashell and the quote are from Red Lead Paperworks. They are um, a stamp. It says, she held a seashell to her ear and listened to the sea. And then we have this page. And I'm not sure, I think that's another one where I could maybe possibly tuck a smaller tag up in there nothing too thick or or big but uh the bottom still can get a little more work on it so then when i flip this page i have um this side with a pocket and again this i made this little collage pocket it, it could have been anything a card centerpiece it was just by itself uh about over a year ago but i just again it had that kind of medieval feel to it and um 
and all. And then here's a tag. These things have been on Instagram, but this is where they ended up finding a home. Uh, and again, it says a day to remember. And here you have just some nature scene. This is sort of a winter scene. And this cute carabelle stamp of a raccoon and um, far away. And then this, I don't know if you can really see the color. It does have some colors, some green and some beige and some brown. That's a cereal box that um, I just broke down and used to die cut. And it's the Tim Holtz um, clock that he has in the dies. This page again, what really drew me to putting this with it were the just the colors. Again, most of my things are made totally random, separate times. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, no plan. I just, you know, kind of work with a lot of, you know, nature and in this case, medieval kind of feeling uh, things, but no real plan. And then when I start to put something together, I go through everything I've made and try to find places I think that it shows it off to its best advantage. This is, again, a book page, just tore it roughly around the edges, um, a little bit of die cut there. And I don't know if you can see it. I have some uh, fabric right there. I just was looking for something very soft, um, gentle feeling. Another little nature stamp and all. And that gets tucked in this, which is made from an old book page. Might have been a Hardy Boy book um, page to begin with. Uh, here you have this sort of trellis, which is in those fragments, I think, uh, that Tim Holtz and Sizzix puts out. Down here, um, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> my voice today is not good. Uh, that's from Medieval Mirage. <clears throat> so anyways, um, and here we have, <clears throat> I hope I don't need to end my video, but I may need to another page, a book page, and here again I've just used fragments of a die cut. I happened to do it on red paper and it just, I just thought it just slightly picked up the pink in that tulip uh, there, and this page is going to need more work down the road. So, and again, you have here, you've got the muslin as the fringe. I put another one out on this side because if I'm right, yeah, I, well, no, actually, I just put it there. I thought I had another flip on this side, but I don't. Here you just have um, another bird collage that I had in the stash for a while. Not sure what I wanted to do with it. And then we move on to this page. Again, this is another collage. Um, you know, thought about using it as a bookmark, but then decided on having it be a flip and if you look at that you can see this was an early collage of mine on Instagram some of you may remember that and it's sort of gypsy um, gypsy camp and I'll need to do something on that page still and through here it's a little a little less polished but still interesting um, Again, let's see, this here is Venice, I think, and that's from Roxy Creations, just uh, some, you know, off of a bigger piece that I tore that. And here we have just some basic collage and elements. And this is off of a, another Medieval Mirage uh, kit. And it's, it's sort of desert and um, ancient world, camels and, and all different things. And so I really wanted that one for kind of that old feel. And yet, it's different set, but it lines up. The colors work really well when you look at the colors there and the colors in that. But they're totally different kits, different makers. 
Here's another pocket. One thing, I love using like stickles and perfect pearls, but they can stick to things. So just beware when you're using them, not to have them by anything where they might tear it if it's real like old book page or something, because sometimes they, they want to hold on. So there's that, and just another page here, another collage. And I still, I've got just some lace down, but that page needs some working. These, as you can see, here I've got a tuck on this side and a quote. The wise man knows that it is better to sit on the banks of a remote mountain stream than to be emperor of the world. That's a, a good one for us to remember. And these quotes are from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. I don't know that I mentioned that before. Uh, <clears throat> this is from Antique Papery, I believe, This the majority of this. Um, and I still need to do work on that page. Almost there for where it is at this point. Again, the kind of the trellis work on this. And just a little pocket card. A good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. Nelson Mandela said that. So there you have that. Again, just some fabric. And then this is a flip. I'll kind of flip it up here so you can see. And again, just um, this is actually in the paper here, this white here. It's, it's in the paper. This is actual real fabric. And so I was trying to sort of pick that up. And a little bit of die cut. And a, this, I, is it a griffin, I think, maybe? And then here again, just a, another collage that I've had sitting around waiting for a home. This page isn't done. And when you flip it open, though, you have my squirrel and some other nature elements thrown in. Again, a blank page. Haven't done anything with that yet. This says a day to remember. And I put it on an old Hardy Boys chapter name at the top of the chapter. It's called the Phantom Freighter was the chapter it was from. But sometimes I like to work in those quirky little things. They don't mean anything deeply, but they're kind of fun. They just add a little more mystery and, um, you know, discovery to your page. So again, we've got some fabric. Our, this is a Carabelle uh, stamp. And then this page is partly done. Here's another one of those fragment dies. Mushrooms from Red Lead Paperworks. And then here is a collage page here. And um, just a variety of things. The Seagull is Red Lead Paperworks. Here is a, uh, a quote from the Etsy shop Poppiness. And this is just one in a selection of nature quotes. Don't worry, spiders. I keep house casually. So not so clean as to threaten the spiders, I would assume. And that was one I, I wasn't quite sure where I'd use it. It just seemed to fit there for no reason other than I thought it fit there. Um. And then here's the last page, at this point at least, in this journal. And again, it's an old book page. This is Roxy Creation in the background here. Lots of bits and pieces from, from other um, scraps I had on hand. And what I did is I cut down the, the clock die. And remember how I, I've talked about with collage, kind of drawing the eye in with sort of three, bouncing off three things so the eye comes in. Um, I suppose the birds would be more of the focal point there, but it sort of all comes together. And these are some stamps. They're washi stamps. Um, and I want to say... The name of the shop on Etsy has 
is it's got the word milk in it and I just can't off the top of my head I'll have to double check but some wonderful kind of old art washi tape stamps and I'll look up that name and mention it another time but it's it's got the word milk in it milk I don't think it's milk cow but it's a cute little name and um it's the shop sells um washi tapes and then here's a collage that I did more recently and again it's just a mix of of all different thing and some more of those pretty um, washi tape stamps let me see if my washi tape is handy maybe I have I'm not sure if the name where I got it from is on there yeah, but the shop sells, like this is a set of Rembrandt um, washi tape, and that really bugs me, but I will let you know later. Here's another beautiful one, just kind of old ancient art uh, in those stamps, but I'll need to look. Maybe Milk Fairy? I think Milk Fairy might be the name of the Etsy shop that has those washi stamps. And that is where it ends, at, <clears throat> excuse me, at this point, along with my voice ending. And I'll probably put a pocket in here, but I will do some other videos um, just working in this journal. I don't have anything on the back of it yet. Uh, and I hope this maybe inspires you to try making a journal uh, that is on like a three ring binder and I do like if it's on the rings it's nice because as you progress you can move pages that you want maybe next to each other that you think go better together um, maybe you you change some things that would just make it better whereas when it's a stationary every page is set and you know it's stitched in it's hard to make changes uh, down the road so I hope you are inspired to um, do some collage work and maybe put together a collection of of collage pages I will do another video uh, of a, a different collage book um, that I made out of a binder and this is a farm journal but I'll save that for another video and here you can see it's packed but it was again it was made out of that better homes and garden uh, book from 1963 so I'll show you that on another video so have a good day stay safe and healthy and I'll talk to you later bye bye